So we've formatted our SD card and copied the latest version of Noobs across to the card. We've wired up our Raspberry Pi with all the plugs, the network leads, etc. And we're ready to turn it on for the first time. So when we turn it on for the first time, what we'll notice is the first thing you should see is a colourful screen. This means it's booting up and it's starting its install. Once it's finished doing its noobs install, we're actually presented with all the different sort of operating systems and options we can have. We're going to be sticking with the very first one on this installation, which is Raspberry. And we're going to just click on that with an X and then click on install. Now this is also going to um, use all, uh, delete all the other ones off here. But just before we do that, I'm just going to click no. Just remember down the bottom here, you can actually set the language, which is English UK, but keyboard, make sure you make, change that to US, otherwise you could be left with a pound sign, etc. in a strange place on your keyboard. And then click install. We can change that at a later stage, but it's a good idea to do it early. And then we need to sit back and install the operating system. What I'll do is um, time lapse this and we'll come back together at the end of the install. Now that the operating system is installed, it asks you to click OK and then it will restart the actual Raspberry Pi. Now once it boots up, it asks you some simple questions. In here we can actually set some things up. First of all, you can change your actual password to your Pi. I don't recommend doing this, I like to keep it this as a default one, which is the username is Pi and the password is Raspberry. 
If it's not going into production, it's safe to keep it as the default one, but if you are going into production, I suggest you do change it. Some of the other things we need to have a look at is if we head down to Advanced Options, so arrow down and press Enter, we can actually set the visible name for the Pi. I'm going to press Enter and click OK, and I'm going to rather than have it called Raspberry Pi, I'm going to put Earl Marsden. This will help me identify this on a network. And I'm going to push Tab and then press Space for OK. I'm also going to head down to Advanced Options again, push Space or press Enter. I'm going to go down and set SSH. I'm going to make sure that is enabled by pressing Enter. Pressing Enter again. Now, under Advanced Options, just have one more look in here. We can also change the audio. At the moment, it's set to auto, but you can actually set it to 3.5mm um, headphone jack, or you can have it running out through HDMI. If you don't have speakers in your monitor, then I suggest you, uh, you can force it to that. Otherwise, you can have auto and you can set it later. So I'm going to leave it as auto at the moment. But in some installs, I actually set that to number one and force it out through the 3.5, especially at school, because our monitors don't have speakers in them. Press OK. Now, once I've done those couple of things, I'm actually ready to move forward. So I'm just going to push Tab and Tab down to Finish and press Enter. Uh, would I like to reboot now? And the answer is yes. So this will go through its first boot of its operating system and bring it up to the username and password. So I'll so I can log in as the root user.